Yasmina is a, was a young girl uh, aged about 14 uh, who was brought to us by her parents because of their concern about her sadness. The, she was having trouble getting out of bed in the morning. Her school grades were dropping. When we evaluated, we found that um, Yasmina actually has a, a quite a long history going back into her childhood years of social anxiety and social fears. She's always worried a lot about what other people thought of her. She was very self-conscious. Um, as a result, she's had trouble uh, for many years making friends, uh, difficulty mixing with other kids. She didn't go to many parties as a young girl growing up. Uh, and she's had difficulty sometimes at school and, and other, uh, in other social sorts of settings. As she's gotten older, her lack of social interaction has also meant that she started to become a little bit more depressed and sad. She just feels very unmotivated, lacking interest in life. A lot of the typical symptoms of depression and these sorts of combinations of anxiety with depression are very common in many young people once they get to the teenage years. It can often be difficult for a young person to recognise that they are experiencing a mental health problem. Uh, for example, Sarah is a young person experiencing anxiety. She might not realise that her difficulties with uh, getting to sleep, having stomach upsets and headaches might be caused by an anxiety disorder rather than by a physical health problem. Then after recognising the problem, there are many other barriers uh, for Sarah to get appropriate help, such as the stigma of mental illness, uh, knowing where to go for help, and uh, the cost and time involved with uh, seeing a mental health professional. Sarah might feel like other people may judge her for admitting that she's experiencing a problem with her mental health and she might not be sure quite where to get, um, go, where to go for help. Janie is a mother in her 30s with two young children who live at home with her. She's divorced and she's the main carer for her children. Janie has schizophrenia. She's had a number of episodes over time but in between those episodes, she does okay. She takes antipsychotic medication and she receives psychosocial therapy. Before she was ill, Janie did well at work and in her social relations. However, now she has no work, hasn't had any work over the past year, and she has difficulties socialising and engaging with people. On top of that, despite her young age, she has metabolic syndrome a risk for diabetes and heart disease. She finds it hard to exercise because of lack of childcare and she's tried many, many times to give up smoking but it's not been successful so far. Every year in Australia, 30 to 40,000 mothers experience marked depression after the birth of their infant. Many of these mothers struggle to get professional help because it's difficult for them to leave home and resources are limited. The programs that we developed um, have, uh, are very similar in some ways. They're based on teaching young people very practical skills, skills that enable them to overcome their, their worries and fears and to get back to a, a higher level of functioning. To give you an example, some of the skills include things like uh, teaching young people different ways of thinking, thinking more realistically about situations, reappraising situations so that they're not as overwhelming or as threatening or teaching young people uh, very gradual, systematic ways of approaching situations and getting them to, to face the fears, face the things that they're afraid of. So my research focuses on uh, creating better screeners for mental health problems uh, so that it's easier for people in the community like Sarah to recognise whether they might be having a mental health problem. Uh, I also conduct research on other barriers to getting help, uh, which includes developing internet-based programs, um, that provide online therapy for young people such as Sarah who might be going through a rough time. These programs are often freely available uh, to young people and can support that person to manage their symptoms or to uh, assist in their treatment. I'm passionate about giving young people like Sarah options about the types of support available to them uh, and to maintain their mental health and wellbeing. Through our research, we provide government and other organisations who are involved in the care of people with severe mental illness with good evidence to support an integrated approach to recovery that takes into account mental health, yes, but also physical health and social circumstances, including the basic necessities of everyday living. In this way, we hope our research is making a difference for Janie and many other people affected by severe mental illness. 
We've developed a new intervention which allows mothers to join online groups from their own home. The groups are led by professional nurses who are experienced in providing help for mothers and infants. This means that mothers can readily access professional help and also discuss parenting problems with other mothers. Uh, the intervention also allows mothers to obtain information about infant development and it provides them with reminders about key events like vaccinations or health checks. So it's through the help of Australian Rotary Health uh, and through the funding that we're receiving that we're able to develop programs like this to show that they work and ultimately we're going to be able to help very large numbers of young people to get back to happy, healthy uh, functioning right across Australia and also internationally.